what's up guys uh, so today we're going to be changing um, a one inch threaded headset on my um, 1980s bike um, so let's check it out um, right now I just got started so I'll show you what I have headset it's actually an origin 8 uh, seal cartridge but this is the old style bearing um, and I just I got the handlebars off the brakes off they're just dangling by the cord and I got this lock ring off and this old school the reflector hanger off <laughs> and uh, I'm about to take off hopefully pretty easily this so I was um, I was totally uh, dreading doing this job I don't know if you guys ever had that issue where you knew it was gonna be tough or not straightforward but fingers so crossed I got it off with no instructions not watching YouTube pretty sweet you can see here um that so this is an 80s bike and i've never changed it i've had this bike for 10 years maybe less but bone dry bone dry warped rusted this cup is like all bent wrong way so hopefully this solves the issue i was having because essentially it was come the handlebars were coming forward like this way and the wheels were going back that way when I braked and that was super. So this is the orange and eight headset. You could check this out here. So it's a one inch threaded headset, typically for like older style road bikes with a 22.2 stem. God, hopefully that's the right information. I don't have the wrong product. I, uh, that would be devastating. So, sorry, um, that was not the way to do that. Okay, so this is the top cap. Um, this is uh, the top uh, bearing holder. This is the top bearing um, that goes like that. And this is the bottom, which goes on the fork, and that goes sits sits on top. I guess there's two of them. There's an extra one. They gave an extra one so there's so there's this that sits on the fork that bearing goes on top of that and, and then this gets hammered into the heads the head the i don't know what that's called and then this gets hammered into the top side of that and this locks it all down and this is the groove uh washer that goes that has the pin so this is it's like a pin right there yeah and, and honestly look at this sealed car, uh, bearing it's not straight it's like curved what a classy product honestly it feels so good <laughs> and um i don't have to worry about dust getting in there or it wearing out quickly at all so the thing about like doing installs uh is that they never ever go according to plan and I said that it was going quickly and I ran into a wall and it took me a while. Called on my dad. He tried to help me out. We got in an argument. He left. I figured it out. Um, but regardless, uh, the most people run into is that this bottom, the holder for the bearing, it's just, even the top one I'm sure is going to be tough, but this is a steel frame, right? So this is aluminum. You'd think it would just hammer in this one's supposed to be soft, but let me show you what happened. <laughs> oh, it's not pressed on pretty good. Regardless, this is like super uneven. It's just terrible, but I have a solution. This thing took a beating. The bottom is unscratched. I'm really happy. The, the ball bearing. So I try to hammer it down with some wood. You can see there's like wood scattered. I try to hammer it down. Uh, that's just not, it'll never work. I, I just I just think it'll never work. Don't try that. My dad was adamant that that's how that would work. He, yeah. So I just made an at home tool. So you see this bolt on the top with like a metric Allen key. And then there's a random like steel plate that I have laying around with a hole in it. And then here's a giant washer. And you'll notice that's not a bolt, guys. If you guys recognize what that is, that's actually, so this is the, this is the bolt that goes through my stem. 
uh, my quill stem and you could see that I used the quill stem bolt. <laughs> Uh, but let's see if it works. I'll let you guys know. Never gonna work with hammering. I'm telling you, I put so much force down on this steel plate and I felt like I was still like, like struggling. So never gonna be hammered down ever. Um, you need something like this. And if you have a cool stem, you can just grab the bolt from there cause it's long enough and throw it through your headset. Fuck, um, effing crate. Sorry, that's crazy. <laughs> So now oh. that's like out of the way. I'm just gonna hustle through this and show you what it looks like uh, towards the end, unless I come up with another issue. Fingers crossed, hopefully not. Um, it pretty sm it's pretty smooth, but it's raining outside today, guys. So um, not in this, uh, well, actually uh, you'll see me another day and I'll tell you how it feels. Hopefully it's a big improvement and a lot more stability up front with uh, me putting a uh, weight on the handlebars. Hey guys, so I haven't been able to ride my bike too much uh, in the past couple of weeks, uh, but um, let me uh, say that I like the headset. It's done really good in the use I've used it for. Uh, let me just give you a picture of it on the bike and then um, give you my okay, final so I think it looks great. It really does. So, especially on like a vintage frame, it's just a little different. I think it looks real nice. So what I would say is, even though my previous headset was in good condition and um, I thought uh, there was very little play, um, there was an issue when I braked, I felt like the fork went forward. And so after I changed the, the headset, I was disappointed because that thing didn't go away. So I thought there was a little bit of wear and it was causing the fork to move forward or pivot in there. That wasn't the case. I think this is just a worn out fork. And so the tube that goes through the head, head tube it's worn out, so, but it's steel, it's strong, and um, the things I've gained is sharpness in turning. You can feel it. Um, it's much more difficult to ride without hands now. That's a bummer. I think that's a problem for most people that change their headset. Um, but I also noticed more direct uh, feel of the road just even going straight so that will happen when you replace a really really old headset all right guys take care i recommend this product definitely pick it up for your bike um, insulation was extremely difficult but yeah